I, I was inspired by that. Growing up, I watched him play a bit. Not like I watched him play, I used to go to the stadium and all, yeah, so. Growing up, I already knew what I wanted to do. So, and my family was in support, so it was so easy for me. And why? I looked up to a lot. Like, growing up, I looked up to, like, my dad, because he was also a center back. I looked up to, like, Martini, yeah, Sergio Rama. Who's your favorite Super Eagles player currently? Currently, <laughs> right. Um, uh, currently, I'll say Omigo. Kenneth Omigo. Yeah. If you went to defender, which position would you have preferred and why? If I was a defender, I would be an attacker. <laughs> <laughs> have, you, have you tried it before? Yeah, I've actually tried playing it, even during training and Work out for matches. Yeah, I do play at that time. Okay. Actually, so. try football. I play basketball. Wonderful. Yeah, I play basketball. Like in school, that back then, a lot of people didn't know I play football because most time I play only basketball and volleyball. Okay. So when I was like, I wanted to play football. I was like, guys, this one is not basketball. No more. At the end, yeah. Okay. I play so basketball, volleyball. Okay, so yeah, I went through. Um, um, Good King Soccer Academy. I was in Port Harcourt. Yeah, so we used to train at Rumala. Then I played for Garden City Panthers. Yeah, that was my academy team. Then from there I played the amateur and the pro. Then the premier. Now here yeah, I yeah. am. So which clubs did you go to from pro to premier and now? I, I played um, I played for um, Delta Stars. I played for Remo Stars. Then. I'm playing for Kanye now. Who did you enjoy the most? Game I enjoyed the most. I would say, like this season. In general. In general. Then probably not get to this season. Okay, like in general, I I think um my game against Valentine Mota because I played outside. So okay. That was like my favorite game because of we are away and we got the victory and they're a very big team. Yeah. Okay. Um, there was a report that you weren't born in Nigeria. You weren't. You didn't grow up in the family in Nigeria. Yeah, I was born here in Nigeria, but I didn't like grow up here. Okay. I started my footballing career in Malta. Okay. I was playing and I was going to school. So. Okay. Great. Now let's talk about Aqua United now. Who is your favorite teammate in Aqua United? Mm, my favorite teammate. My favorite teammate is Tony. What is this? Everybody loves <laughs> the freaking. The freaky. So aside from the freaky, who else? Aside from the now, it's my favorite team is Amadi. Some of them are Yeah. Okay. Um. Now we'll talk about outside acquainted and within acquainted. So outside acquainted, who is the toughest attacker you have to square in the league? In the league, I'll say maybe Israel Abia. Israel Abia. Yeah. He's skillful and he's physical. Yeah. So in Aqua United, who gives you tough time in training? In training. Currently now, it's, we, we have different players, so they rotate it. Sometimes it's a human nature or it's a rock, so it depends. Okay, your, your, your dress makes you to actually stand out in, in the league. So if someone to ask you how much you have to, how much you have to pay you so I could cut your dress, how much should you get? Uh, I don't know. I don't even. I, I can't even say for now. If so, if someone offers you fifty million naira to cut your dreads, would you? Fifty million naira. It's off. You cut it. If everything. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Has has coaches had problems with you with your dreads? Mm, no, actually, I haven't had any issue with my dreads with any coach. Yeah. Okay. I got it. Yeah, it was, it was like, I was actually surprised when I got called up and I was really, very, very happy because I didn't expect it, I didn't see it coming. So, I was so glad because it was a very big opportunity in my career. Yeah. So, playing for them, we have a lot of great players in Nigeria, so for me to be part of that team, I was grateful. Um, let's, let's still stick with the national team. 
who were you close with in the national team and what's what's the difference for you playing for the national team and playing at the club side? Yeah, I was close to in the national team I was close to in the bracket. Okay. We were together. I was close to our captain, Ike Chikunze one, the one day there. He was my only mate. So he spoke to me a lot, he talked and he's a very big guy. He tried to put me through because he has been there for a while, yeah. So Let's uh, let's just stick with the national team. Who's your, which player do you look up to as as a striker, or which player gave you a tough time in the national team when you're in the camp? In the camp, it was in the with three camp. It was Taiwan. Okay. Yeah, playing against him. Yeah. Although we played, I played against him like 2015. Yeah. So it, after a while, like people keep getting better. So yeah. How do you feel you get caught up to the Super Eagles again? As a, because I know you've been hearing everything on social media that if there's someone that should get to Super Eagles from the league is Olisa. So if you finally get that call up, how will it feel to you? And your message to those that actually want you to play for the Super Eagles? Yeah, I'll, I'll feel very glad. I'll be very happy because I've been trying to work. Everybody wants to be in the Super Eagles, but it's not easy. We have a lot of players outside Nigeria and here. So if I get called up, I'll be very glad and I'll try to give my best not to play under pressure. Let's come back to the league now. We I'm quite nice speaking of the title. <laughs> Why? <laughs> You're a great player with trophies, not alone. So I just want because we haven't won the league. The league hasn't been won here in a final. So yeah. I'm very happy if I'm part of a team that won the league here in a final. Still with Aqua United, who is the most jovial person for you in Aqua United? Who makes the camp very, very lively in Aqua United? Very lively. We have two of them, it's either Echo, I just came out. Kuba, yeah. yeah, and I'm not the guy. Um, who, okay, between, okay, let's talk about games. Between FIFA and PES, which one do you like? Uh, between FIFA or... <laughs> yeah. So, who's your, who's your game mate in the camp? Game mate? The only one that can match up to me is not around, doing the bracket, okay. but Orok is very good too. Got it. Yeah, very good. My babies, <laughs> like in front, in front is my baby. Uh, <laughs> from PS3 to PS4, like that. That uh, is my baby. I'm mad him. Don't go there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, let's let's still stick with what um, your activities with Aqua United. When you when you want to go out for training between Adidas and Nike, which one do you prefer? It's Nike. Nike, why? Like I feel very comfortable. Adidas, they like at the front of the boot. Always too hard and strong, yeah. But Nike is always comfortable. When it comes to playing ground between artificial and natural grasses, which one do you prefer? Natural grass. Thank you. When you came to acquire United to get to adapt, and do you feel the coach Kenny Bowie impacted enough into you? Yeah, coming here it wasn't really difficult because I already had friends playing here, so they welcomed me, and it was so easy to adapt. Like. My first game was home against Heartland, so I was under pressure to perform because I was hearing a lot of talks, but I wasn't bothered. So you're good? You're good to stay here? Yeah. And uh, let's... Uh, <laughs> I mean, what, I, I don't know, since day one in Vinici Milan, I've been watching from the likes of Mazzini, Mexes and all that, so I fell in love with it. Okay, between Cristiano Ronaldo and Lionel Messi, who is your favorite player? Right I don't know, I like the two a lot. I don't I don't even, I don't compare both of them at all. Why? I don't know, they are two great players, they're different players. Okay. Actually, yeah. Messi is more gifted. Ronaldo is just more of hard work and everything, yeah. Many fans compare you to Vijo Van Dijk because he's very composed. Do you feel Vijo Van Dijk is the best defender currently? Yeah. And for me. <laughs> for you. <laughs> for me he's the best defender currently. Because uh, before the injury, he has been consistent, and when he got the injury, we see how he was struggling he had to win games, and they have been considering a lot of goals since his absence. So, yeah. As a defender, it's very, very, it's, I would say, it makes you sad when your team loses. So, which, which game do you feel has made you so, so depressed? Like, after the game, you feel very bad? Uh, this season, it was yeah, this our, season. Yeah, our game against. 
Nasarawa and our home game against San Christian. Nasarawa will consider the diamond goal, like after they scored us a little bit past before they ended the game. So. And the Rangers game because we couldn't score. So. Now, you have to pick players that 